reason we're doing mussels today is we've been ha we've had these on our on our menu since day one, 1994. I love the traditional French way of doing mussels. It's called moule marinière, and it's just simple. It's with uh, thyme, a little bit of shallot, white wine, of course, and beurre. No, better. It's better. All right. Anyway, those three things are the principal ingredient. And uh, one of the things I always get asked are why are people so afraid to cook mussels? Well, probably because the, the result can be uneven. You know, it's so easy to overcook them. It really, really is. You have to be very, very quick, flash, flash, flash. The other thing is freshness. Um, how do you clean them? These are things we're going to go over today. Go through and test them. When they're closed, they're usually good. When they're open, what you need to do is the pinch test. You know, when, they're, when all of them are open, that doesn't mean they're bad. That means they're just kind of breathing a little bit. So you just pinch them. And if they don't automatically close, basura in the garbage. If you can see that little tag, that little tag of, of it's like a fine hair, that's what these muscles attach themselves to when they attach to a rope or a piling or a pier or a float or a dock or a boat. So all I do is take a knife and just pinch that and pull it. And I look for any other sort of, these are all been cleaned up really nice for you, but most of them are. You can take a scrubby, a green scrubby and scrub them, but that pinch thing is with a knife, you can do that very easily. So I'm gonna just uh, take some time, and one of the easiest ways to deal with this is just take it like this and just pull it down from top to bottom. And all the leaves just pull right off, and we can put them right in our little mise en place dish right there. So now we have some minced, minced shallot. I'll put that in a little mise en place bowl. All right. Now we're going to pick some parsley and just chop that. Just pulling the leaves off. The stems have a little bit more robust flavor and texture. Now, chopping parsley, it's all about mounting it up. Get the most advantage for your knife, OK? Stack it up like this. Put your hand like this and this hand like this and just roll like this. Kind of use it as a lever. Going to push it back together again. Chop it up again. Push it back together. Chop it up again. So that is our parsley. So there you go. See, it's, it's, it's not like super fine, like three-star Michelin fine, but you know, it's pretty good. And it is good for what we're doing, okay? Now we're gonna get cooking a little bit. Again, we've got a nice heavy bottom copper pan here, but you know, you can use almost any stainless steel because of the nature of this, this method you really need something that's gonna hold up to heat. Aluminum pans, I'd steer away from. Every time you put acidity into aluminum, it's going to have a bad reaction, in my opinion. This is a uh, nickel iron copper pan. Very, very heavy, very, very good. Great for saute. Very, very difficult, especially when you're sauteing, you don't wanna burn or scorch things. Now, we got a pretty serious flame under there. We're gonna start with the shallots. Now, two things. You, the French would normally basically saute their shallots in a little bit of uh, butter, but you know, for a couple of reasons, I'm going to recommend using olive oil. It's a little bit more stable. Now you don't need much. It's just harder to get a burn on it. It's got a higher temperature of burn rate. Roll around the pan. You can hear that sizzle. That's what you're looking for. Keep them moving. You do not want to scorch or burn your shallots. You want to keep them nice and blonde. Anytime you burn them. That means you've gone too far. It also creates a little bit of bitterness. Caramelization is not what you're looking for here. They're going to go pretty quickly, and they're going to have more chance to cook here. So I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to throw my mussels in. Now you just want to really ramp up the temp, because you want this part to go real fast. You want them to get heat quick and open up fast. So if you have an if you have an electric burner at home, what you want to do is roll on, keep it on high, keep it absolutely red hot, and just roll on and off it as you need the temperature. That's the only way to effectively cook with a home electric burner. On high, you can have one on medium, one on low. Just roll back and forth and have one that's not not up at all. So I just got them. All right, my shallots are cooked. Everything's ready to go. So I'm going to roll in a little bit of. white wine, sprinkling my thyme, get that infused. Now I'm going to cover it up. I'm covering this to create a steam 
a little, a lot more intensity of heat and get these things rolling. I want them to open up really quickly and not to overcook. We're going to finish it off with a little bit of butter. This whole process should only take about maybe two to three minutes maximum. Oh yeah. There they are. They're so happy. You see that sauce that's happening in there? Just rolling around. I'm twisting it around because what I really want is that butter to really infuse in there. Good. Now we're just going to th throw a little parsley in. Give it a quick little toss. And we are done. Let's put these babies in here. Now all you need is a nice glass of white wine, a big hunk of French bread. We are ready to go. So that's just a little bit about mussels. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh...